All right, welcome back to my Let's Play of Geneforge 1 here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. And we are picking up mid-mission here in the Shaper School, where we, the last episode, we we finished clearing up the cleaning up the bandit woods, you know, for the last few items or whatnot, some thods. And then we came in here where we've been fighting nothing but Fioras and Thods and a few Artillas, or a couple Artillas. Which are dangerous. And we had some misadventures with a, a pot full of acid. Kind of like a pressure cooker full of nasty, nasty acid. What I think I'm going to do though, before we finish this area, is return to town and make another Fiora. Because I increase my intelligence and that gives us more essence. And you get a little bit of essence anyways from leveling up. And I think with a little bit more a little bit bigger crew will do better. I've really liked the way that having two Thods and a one Fiora worked better than one Thod and two Fioras. I think two Thods and two Fioras would work even better. So let's see. I want to trade. Let's do we have anything to sell. Sell, sell, sell. Let's sell that ring. Let's sell two. Wait. Let's sell two of these batons. And that sword. Another baton. Sell this belt. And this cape and these boots and these sandals all right that's all thank you sir now we have a regular belt and this is a studded belt studded belt gives you plus four to armor regular belt is probably two yep plus two to armor so let's let's sell that little belt i'd like to trade with you i need supplies actually i need to sell you some extra and bam there we go see he only has 96 gold left and nothing he has is really useful, except for maybe thorns. I mean, or I can javelins, I guess. I could buy javelins from him if I wanted. He has an unlimited supply of regular javelins, and they cost seven apiece. He has only one steel javelin, but that's too expensive. I mean, that's extremely cheap. And so, but it's too pricey, absolutely speaking. So let's actually go over here to the big chunky servile's house. I don't remember her name was. The one that really filled out the robe. <laughs> As I said, Dreet. Are you wealthy? Um, what sort of things do you own? I'm a shaper. You want to barter with me? I demand. Yeah. Let's uh, let's let's I, let's open the door. I would like you to open the door. Here's 300 coins. Dreet takes your money and counts it carefully. She walks over to the door and presses a concealed button. The door will open for you now. Enjoy. Alright, thanks a lot. Oh boy, oh boy. I wonder what it's going to be. I wonder what it's going to be. It's kind of a junky room in here. Oh well. Ah, you feel yourself changing. We got War Blessing. Hey, you guys, come on. War Blessing is a good spell. Let us see our statistics. Abilities, abilities. Blessing magic. Now we have a blessing magic. Now more blessing. A, I think it boosts your ability, your accuracy, to hit, and maybe makes you hit harder too. I can't remember, but it's definitely good to cast in a battle. See, there's also speed and mass energize. This one makes the recipient faster in combat. It gives you additional bonus action points. It's very, very useful. Mass energize. Makes all nearby allies more effective in battle. Heals some of their damage. This demanding spell can only be cast when there's no enemies nearby. Blessing magic and spellcraft make it more effective. Basically, if you have a big battle, you're coming, it might be worthwhile to use this spell and then go in. But I don't know. It's expensive. And more blessing. Makes the recipient more likely to hit in combat. It makes its blows more effective. Yeah, very good spell. And now we have it. Oops, let's get out of here. Smurf the heck out of here. 
Did you guys ever watch, uh, like, the Smurfs back in the day? Like, when I was a little kid, they used to be at the Smurfs, and I don't know how long the reruns of Smurfs went on. I don't know. And there was, like, later on, like, live-action plus CGI Smurf movies, but I'm not talking about that. That's just, I don't know. Nostalgia abominations. Let's make another, another Fiora. There are some old animated specials with the Smurfs. My favorite one was Smurfs and the Magic Flute. Pretty funny movie. Sometimes I think about that. I thought Smurfs were pretty, you know, I, I didn't really think much about them when I was a kid, I just you know, watched them. But you think about it in real life, Smurfs are pretty weird. And I'm like, did Gargamel actually create them? I, I think that's, I remember that. I mean, there's something almost like shaperish about that situation. They're a race, are they like a race of tiny serviles? And is Gargamel, did he create the, the Smurfs? Because I think that he, he wants them to be his laboratory servants. Or something like that. I don't know. These little slave minions. But we need to find. We need to go over here. But did he, what's it called? Did he make them? And if he did, of course I guess the question that, you know, the serviles raise and the shapers raise is applicable there too. Are the Smurfs not their own creatures? And Gargamel, of course, says no. And they say yes. And they are rational creatures after a fashion. <laughs> Meaning they are rational creatures in strict sense of the definition. They have a rational intellect. But, you know, he also made them, and that's a weird position to be in. But anyway, so okay, you note the guard room. Heavy stone doors and narrow passageways. You can guess where this little hall leads. You're almost to the creation hall. Ahead, no doubt, the young shapers first set their hand to molding life with the considerable accompanying danger. Creation halls are always set up so their keepers can seal them off in a moment. Unfortunately, the doors are stuck open, and several of the walls have been smashed down. This is unlikely to be a good sign. <laughs> Unless you're interested in getting a, a, a draft, a breeze. Let's actually get prepared by doing... Do War Blessing. Uh-oh. The Rogue Thod. Fioras. You enter the Creation Hall and find that it is occupied. There are several creations at the far end of the hall. Not surprisingly, they completely lack the expected a level of obedience. One of them is an enormous Thod. One look in his eyes reveals a strange, unexpected level of intelligence. Thods are stupid creatures, made for physical labor and melee combat. This one has developed crude speech and a seeming ability to plan. It, you know it can talk because it shouts a challenge to you. You invaders, this is my home now. You kill my pets, I rob them. We no follow you. We slay you now. Hmm. All right, well, oh, there he is, ew. Sir, your skin looks terrible. But he has like three times as many hit points as a normal Thod, so we gotta be careful. Here, you, Thod 1, you go right there. Thod 2, you go right here. Spitfire, come on. Right here, be careful. Get him, get him! Good job, good job. Uh-oh, here he comes! He's he's coming to kill me. Oy. You guys need to protect me at all costs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> sort of. Let's see how many... I have four points left. Eh, not very many. Do I have a attack crystal? Yeah, I do. I see crystal to the face. Eh, not bad, not bad. He has 75 hit points left. Oh no! They're all coming to kill me. I think they just know that they don't like shapers. No! New, new, Fiora, you betrayed me. You didn't do a good job. That's not acceptable. Get him! Yeah, oh, nice hit. Oh, very good, very good. Okay, this is money shot right here, Spitfire. Oh, Spitfire, you're my favorite now. Definitely my favorite. 
Let's see. Let's hit this guy with. Oh. 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 I deflected it. Haha. <laughs> that's great. Get him. Get him. Oh, you've missed. New guy. New guy. You're blowing it. Dude, you're blue. Oh, good job, good job. Get him. Oh, nice job. Oh, man, that was not sufficient for election. Get him. Nice job, good guy. Oh, one shot, one kill. Yeah. All right, we got him. Oh, wait, where is this other? Oh, there's another fire over there. Huh. Oh, there's another one. Oh, jeez. Here, you guys get up there. Just... What do you say? Um, get in the way. Take up hits. So that the fire can get a clear shot. Ah, not bad, not bad. Get him! Oh, good job, good job. All right, great work. Let's see, what do we get? It looks like he dropped a bunch of stuff, or at least a couple things. We got a silver ring and a student's belt. Aha! That's a magic belt, I think. Let's see what it does. Oh, cool! Plus one, armor plus two, so not as much armor as our belt, but plus one to intelligence and plus one to damage in combat. That is really good. So, we'll replace our student belt with the student's belt. So that gives us an extra point in intelligence, so now we have eight. That is really nice. That is very useful for... What did I say? It, uh... A shaper like us. Avodius can use all the intelligence he can get. I mean, every type of character can use intelligence because you need it for magic, you need it for shaping. And even a guardian, if you're not going to use. A guardian can shape some creatures because guardians are deep better at shaping than agents are. But you don't have to. You have five points. But even if you're not going to, you need magic or essence to cast healing spells. Raw bones possessions are stored in this box. It's mostly trash, torn garments, and broken weapons. The rogue creature scavenged everything it could. You also found an old key on a leather thong. You take it. It is old and rusty. Raw bone probably found the key when it took over these ruins and couldn't figure out how to use it. Well, you know, he was smart for a thought, but that doesn't say all that much. Okay, well, I think we need to... We only have here and here to go. So, well, we defeated the the rogues. The leader of the rogues here. Wild Thods. And their... And their Fioras. Do we have enough? Oh, no, we don't. We don't have enough. I don't think we can get in here yet. Well, that is some... Um, Nonsense right here. Oh, we got it anyways. Oh, we have the key. Duh. Derp, derp. I'm, I'm kind of silly. And here is a servant mine. You, you awake? You approach the school's servant mine. At first, you weren't sure if he's still alive. Then slowly, quiet. He begins to speak, its long, closed mouth breaking a thick crust of dust and dried saliva to speak with you. Welcome, Shaper. I'm the mind who has been named Pro... Pavralis. It has been a long since I have spoken or thought. Forgive my slowness. I will attempt to wake quickly and serve you better. I have lost much of my knowledge. What remains is at your service. What happened to the school? Why is it in ruins? I do not know. Is the school in ruins? Nobody has visited me for so long with news of happenings elsewhere. I know little. The last contact I had with your kind was when most of my knowledge was blocked off. Well, who, who did that? A shaper from off the island came to me. 
She said the school was to be closed forever. She said that I was to forget all the marvelous things I had learned, that we had learned here. I obeyed completely, of course. Then they sealed me away. This was many years ago. But why was the school closed? I think I remember being told that we on this island had discovered dangerous knowledge. But I serve. The purposes of the Shapers are not for me to question or know, unless they wish it. Anything else on that one? Uh, that... Okay. This was a school. Can you teach me anything? I was instructed to forget all I learned, know, or could teach, and any information that could not be forgotten must not be taught to anyone. I have attempted to follow these instructions as best as I could. Do you remember nothing at all? I think I could work some minor modif- I, I cannot act in this way. It contradicts my directions. Hmm. What we can say. I was sent by the person who gave those orders. They have been cancelled. Which would be a lie. Or I can say, teach me what you know, servant. I command it. Otherwise, I will destroy you. I don't know. I don't know if we know enough about what he needs to modify. What? I don't know. Oh, well, I wouldn't want to cause you any trouble. Let's do that for now. Thank you, Shaper. You are kind and wise to me. Well, you are still functional, so how is that possible? I have endured quietly these long years, trusting in the skill of the Shapers who crafted me. They fed me well before they left. I should be able to live for a century yet without difficulty. That is much longer than you had thought these creatures would ever be able to live. Well, what do you eat? The Shapers fed us the solution they crafted. They fed us long and well, and kept our powers strong. I'm not hungry yet, but I know other minds in this island endured much greater exertions than I. If you find them, you may find them to be weak and unhelpful, and even sadly deranged. Solution, however, might revive them. Well, where can I find this, this solution? I don't know. I believe all we had here was fed to me before I was sealed away. The solution can, if properly sealed, last many, many years. So you may still find some on the island. Anything else? Nope, alright, cool. Well. Alright, well. Now the ruined school can be crossed freely. Maybe we could ask him to try to trick him or you know cajole him is that the word cajole him into bully him into threaten him so that he would give us some modification whatever he means by that uh oh what are these serviles are these serviles down back here dead serviles yeah we'll take this away a venom baton that is good the venom baton is the, an upgrade over the normal baton Ooh, well, there's a canister in here let us see oh create artilla hmm maybe i should have waited and not created that second serve i mean servile keep on saying servile fiora And made, waited and made it Artilla. Oh well. We'll see. Although maybe we could make an Artilla as well because we got another point of intelligence from the student's belt. That could be. Uh oh, uh oh. We got a latecomer who didn't. doesn't realize what's up. And he knows what time it is now. It's quitting time. <laughs> it's quitting time. Not closing time. And that's a song that I never knew how that got so popular back in the day. To the point where it was is everywhere. And used in commercials and uh, the key works here too. Oh wow, another canister. Jeez. We got oh this one enhanced our endurance. That's really good. Okay, so you look here. Our endurance just went up to two. Wow. So now we have, oh yeah, we had 15 hit points, and now we have 19. We are one buff tissue paper shaper. Like two layers of tissue paper, not just one. Huh. Well, that's cool. Well, we learned a little bit. 
I don't know, when I play these games, I tend not to be, like, I don't like threatening to kill people, <laughs> um, people to just, if you don't give me the thing I have no right to ask you to give me, I'll kill you. I'm like, eh. That just seems like a crappy thing to do. Alright, well, we found out what was in the school. Not a whole hell of a lot, but we found the servant mine. We killed a rogue Thod who got a, a belt that gave him an extra boost of intelligence, and he started lording over all the other Thods and the Fioras. Let us trade with you. Let's trade that away. Bamses. And this sword. Bamses. Oh, we don't want to sell that. This belt, yes. Alright, cool. We have four living tools left. We can buy these venom thorns. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's actually, what are these? Those are thorns. How about, we have two things of venom thorns. Now here's the question. Should we just sell the regular baton and keep the venom baton? Or do you think the venom, the regular baton is still good enough to... Hmm... We're not really focused. Let's just sell the. Yeah. We'll sell the regular baton. We don't really need it. Yes. And yes. Thank you very much. Acid thorns. That's for the next level of baton. Acid batons. Those are where they start getting pretty, pretty powerful. But a venom baton is actually a pretty good item. Let's go see if Learning Pinner will tell us anything, or say anything, since we investigated the school that she told us about. Current quests. Search ruined school. Learning Pinner, perhaps you can get some clues. Unless we miss something in the school, I think we've found what we're going to find there, unless we want to get the servant mind to alter us in whatever way possible. Okay, here we are. Learned Pinner watches you carefully, eager to see what she can do to assist you. Sometimes she looks around the ruins about she looks around the ruins about her, self conscious about their crumbling condition. I have spoken with the servant mind in the school. Let's describe the encounter. Pinner thinks on this for a while and finally she says, This is very strange. Usually islands are barred because of a rogue or dangerous creation. We serviles know that much. We have lived in fear for years of what might be lurking here. But Susha was abandoned because something was discovered. There's something powerful here, so much so that your kind thought us better abandoned. Whatever it was, it must be further to the east. There's nothing so important around here. Thank you for your help, Shaper. What you have learned will give us a measure of peace. If you want to know no more about why this isle is barred, the answer, the answers are likely elsewhere. All right, cool. Thank you. Let's see. Let's tell her about the artifacts again. I've used some of these. She inspects you closely. She walks around you, looking at you from all angles. She looks concerned. After a minute, she gets a fragment of mirror and shows you your face. Shows you your, shows you your face in it. Look in this. What it means, I cannot say. You look different. You look stronger and more self-assured, but strange. There's a glowing confidence there, so strong as to verge on mania. The change has happened so slowly you hadn't noticed it, but it is definitely there. Hmm. What are those there for? We don't know. We can't use them. So, that's, that's not good. It is good. Joyfully embrace the uncertainty of the future? I don't know. <laughs> be worried that we're going to die of shaper cancer. So we're vaguely glowing and we look like we're slightly maniacal. That's, you know, you know. <laughs> Ready for a job in politics. Hey, you have to think about what would, like, shaper incident cleanup crews. Think of what a life that would be. I mean, I imagine they use lots of serviles and but also probably certain outsiders and shapers that, I don't know, Oosh, that must be a nasty job. Oh, we already talked to Cole. We do not need it. 
waste your time, my friend. Thank you very much. Let's go. Or rather, that is, I think, going to be it for this episode. I think we can safely say that we've done all we can do in the immediate surroundings here. So we need to go east. We know that there's two more servile towns. The town of Pentel, in which a sect called the Obeyers lives, who supposedly, according to leader Kobar, um, worship the, the Shapers as gods. And then there's even further east are the, the Takers, who, as we know from talking to one of the Takers, think that the Shaper order has to be broken free from violently. That is the only way that they're going to escape. But before that, we know there's the awakened stronghold of of Elra. So I think next episode we're going to go to Elra's keep and see what this supposedly wise founder of the Awakened can tell us. All right. Well, thank you again for joining me on this episode of my Let's Play of Gene Forge, and I hope you join me in the next episode. Take care, y'all.